Hey, there we are. Hey guys, Trisha with my Trish Advisor. So um, if you guys are new here, uh, I am a girl from Iowa living in Mexico and encouraging, well usually encouraging travel to Mexico. Um, and I set up tours, transfers, and hotel like resort accommodations. Um, but today is a very different type of video. I've wanted to um, talk to you guys about kind of like what I've been going through and what changes have happened and even addressing a lot of the questions that you guys have been messaging me. Um, and I want to just be really upfront because a lot of things have changed recently with everything with the coronavirus and I just want to share with you guys what I think are the best practices um, because this is what's happening is I'm getting a lot of questions about traveling to Mexico and I just want to give you good informational tips. So I made a bunch of notes, so excuse me because I'm definitely going to look at my notebook because this is a very important message and I want to be sure that it's conveyed clearly. So um, yes, the main thing is that I want to tell you I am not a health professional. I don't have a background uh, as a nurse or a doctor or anything like that. I'm literally only quoting um, one of the main sites that I'm quoting is the World Health Organization, which is uh, a World Health Organization, and I'm going to advice for the public on how to handle the coronavirus. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because, um, well, first off, the point of the video is to post and give you helpful tips on how to help not spread the coronavirus. And on top of that, to give you helpful tips on like, if you do um, choose to self quarantine, which I'm gonna talk about that today, because I have chosen to self quarantine for about the last week um, with minimal um, social engagements and going out um, anywhere and staying home and trying to create a good environment to be home. So, and then the second part of that is to give you guys helpful links. So helpful links about information and also helpful links about to stay entertained because for example, I just found out that there was a whole event this whole weekend. It was an online um, event on, it was all in Spanish though, because it was in, I think it was in Mexico. It was in Mexico, right? No, Spain, sorry, in Spain. Um, it was the uh, Yami Queda in Mi Casa. It's like, I want to stay in my house. And there's a whole push for people in Spain, obviously, to stay in their homes, like what's happening in Italy, but they're forced to. So um, here, I think it's better if we take an initiative. And the whole point of this video is that I feel like precaution or um, prevention is better than cure. So, um, so yeah, so there will be links to um, entertainment, education, and things for like kids too. Like I found some great links on p places that are providing um, free education through the internet to help kids and families cope with this time of us staying indoors more. So um, to give you guys a little history, again, if you're new, I am just south of Cancun in a small town fishing village with a drinking problem. So a drinking village with a fishing problem? What is it? Yeah, drinking village with a fishing problem. <laughs> and uh, I'm about 30 minutes south of Cancun, like I said, in Puerto Morelos. And the thing that's concerning for me is that it seems very business as usual. Um, and I see everybody just engaging the same as, they're, as they were just even two weeks ago. But with all the new information that's been coming out, I'm just really hoping that we can take initiative on this and, and re really reduce the curve because the, the, the less that we engage with people, um, the more that will reduce the curve. So let's get into it. The tips that I have that, um... oh, well, hold on. Hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, yes, I'm now putting myself in quarantine, self-quarantine, and oh yeah, the other part is like, honestly, my attitude has really completely changed because up until about a week and a half ago, I was like, oh, it's no big deal, it's in China, it's in Europe, whatever, and now it's just really, like, it's kind of like hit me, and I realized that I was being very selfish to think that I can keep living my life as normal, and feel like maybe it's a, like I feel healthy enough, but maybe if I have contact with somebody that's living with somebody that's sick or elderly, then I am contact, contracting something that could essentially kill them. And thank God the death rates aren't 
I mean, anybody dying, it's terrible. So we're not going to get into that, but I'm just telling you, my attitude has completely changed and I'm just really hoping that this video can help you guys too for anybody that's kind of had this, oh, it's not going to happen to us mentality and uh, we can reduce that again with the point. So I think it's the prudent thing to self-quarantine and reduce travel. And this comes very difficult for me because my job is to literally help people travel to Mexico. I have tours that have been canceled for April. I have um, a couple of weddings coming up in May or June. And I'm really hoping that if we can do the right thing and reduce travel now, my point is, is that I would rather be um, broke and healthy than broke and unhealthy. And that's my, my biggest point because I'm gonna suffer from this as a business. I literally don't even know how I'm gonna make an income. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this depending on what happens. Like if things do shut down and not shut down, but like people stop coming here, I'm not gonna have a business, you know? So that's really concerning to me. But I feel like if we take a control of it now, it will help the future and reduce it. That's, that's just really the point. So for me, yes, I'm gonna suffer uh, and not have an income. Just like many, I'm not the only one. All, all my friends are in the, the same industry. So we're all gonna suffer, but I feel like if, financially, but I feel like if we can do the right thing now, it will reduce the, the length of, um, let's say non-travel or reduced travel to Mexico and around the world. So I think of it like this, like your boss asks you to stay home when you're sick. Well, the difference is with this is that you might have been sick for 10 or 12 days before and not realized that you even had an illness and contracted it. So it's better for us to stay home in my belief. So I know I might get a lot of pushback about this because if I would have watched this video two weeks ago, I'd have been like, oh no, I don't believe this, whatever. So from the World Health Organization, I'm gonna pop up three slides here. The first slide is how should I greet another person to avoid catching the coronavirus? And it says, to prevent the coronavirus, it is safest to avoid all physical contact when greeting. Safe greetings include a wave, a nod, what up, or a bow, a curtsy. No, I'm just kidding. No, don't, don't curtsy to anybody. Um, and in Mexico, this is going to be really difficult. You walk into a room, you greet 10 or 15 people easily with a kiss on the cheek, a hug. And then what do you do before you go? You do the same thing. And you do that with everybody in the room. And for me, I'm very kissy huggy, so it's really difficult for me to think that I can't do that. And how I've been coping with that is like, even my friend that's here with me today, I messaged him, I said, hey, before you come over, um, please, I want you to know that, like, I won't greet you. Like, I mean, I'll greet you, like say, hey, but I'm not gonna kiss you on your cheek or hug you. And then when you come in, will you please wash your hands? And he was totally like, yes, of course I will. And my friend the other day that came in. So I still have friends coming over, but I'm just being very cautious about when they enter and I'm, I'm letting them know before they come because I don't want it to be awkward when they arrive and they're like, hey, and I'm like, get away from me, get away from me. Uh, that's not how I want it to be because it is considered rude in Mexico to not. I mean, they're yelled at like as little kids like, hey, saluda tu tia. It's like, oh, okay, okay, I gotta greet my, I gotta greet my aunt. So I just, I want to be conscious of that, but also respectful because it's, it's disappointing for me too. Like I want to kiss and hug everybody. So that's the first thing, the slide. And the second slide I wanted to share with you guys is should I avoid handshaking because of the coronavirus? And it says, yes, respiratory viruses can be passed by shaking hands and touching your eyes and your nose and mouth. Greet people with a wave, a nod, or a bow. Curtsy. I'm going to bow to people now. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and then the third one is, is wearing rubber gloves while out in public effective in preventing the new coronavirus infection? And it says, no, regularly washing your bare hands offers more protection against the coronavirus than wearing rubber gloves. You can still pick up coronavirus contamination on the rubber gloves if you touch your face and then can't, contamination goes from the glove to your face and can infect you, okay? So I just thought these were all really basic, great tips on prevention. And then the last article I wanna read you guys is from Vox.com. 
and the title is what are the rules of social distancing I've never heard in my life of social dis distancing and now I've heard it more in the last three days and I'm totally on board with it so one of the things it says here it says I feel healthy why shouldn't I get out a little bit more to make this time pass a little easier and this is Vox's uh, Kelsey Piper makes a strong argument for choosing to stay home as much as possible inconvenient as it may seem to help your fellow human if you are young and healthy you ought to take precautions because doing so can save somebody else's life Lee, Leah Lagos from a New York City based psychologist of heart breath and mind uh, author of heart breath and mind now is the time to do something for your fellow community members staying home as much as possible even if you believe you are not infected is the type of altruistic decision that when performed in masses has a potential to slow the infection rate okay so I'll, I'll have the link in the description above because uh, I really really liked this um, this article so and then they even go into have to have to if I have to go out how can I do it in the safe way possible so if you do have to go like to the stores or a restaurant or something like that which I'm sure there's a lot of things that we can reduce there okay the second thing that's the first thing with multiple things under it. Second thing is, is rescheduling instead of canceling your Airbnb or your hotel or your resort. So number one, for me anyways, I have an Airbnb and I had people that were so kind to reschedule but not cancel. Airbnb released two days ago that if a customer asks to cancel and get a refund that you must give it back. Well, with mine, I wasn't, mine's very strict and it, it has a strict cancellation policy, so they wouldn't be able to get a refund. But with the new um, email that we just got from Airbnb, they said we have to. Well, I contacted all my future stayers, stayers, Airbnb guests, and that's the drums on the beach. There must be enough people on the beach to play the drums. Um, that they were all willing to reschedule and not ask for a refund, which was very, very kind because obviously um, not having Airbnb uh, will affect my income. So, and then the other thing is, is I contacted a few friends from the resorts and most resorts, I don't know about all, but most resorts are being very helpful with rescheduling um, without any fees and stuff like that. And then obviously contact your travel agent or the resort directly. I know it gets really messy when you booked through like Expedia and Orbitz, sometimes they can't be very helpful, but if you did book through a travel agent, a lot of times the travel agent has a direct contact. So that's the second thing, reschedule instead of cancel, because that will help everybody and hopefully if, if you can like something like Airbnb, like my situation, it's very helpful to me, 80 bucks or 90 bucks, whatever it was going to be, is very helpful and then they can reschedule for a later date. The third thing is that if you need to go out, please bring antibacterial wipes with you. What they're suggesting is to wipe down surfaces, whether it's door handles or using the cart. Um, they, a lot of people talk about masks. Um, they say the mask is most helpful, and I say they, which I don't have a quote for that, so this is just my opinion at this point. Um, they say that the mask more keeps the people that are sick, but the people that are healthy wearing masks, it doesn't really make sense. And then the fourth thing, which is the last thing, is for me is to leave this all on a positive note because I know there's a lot of uncertainty and panic. Everybody's buying, buying toilet paper and I don't know, the coronavirus doesn't make you poop your pants. So you don't need to buy so much toilet paper, you guys. Um, but the fourth thing is focus on goals that you can do now. Maybe you didn't have time for or things that are positive creations <clears throat> for me. Three days ago, I felt really defeated. I was like, I'm losing my business. I'm, you know, in a place where I don't know <clears throat> what's gonna happen. Excuse me. It's really scary. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what's next. You don't know how you're gonna make money, you know, and you start to kind of freak out. I started to freak out. And then, um, quite honestly, I have this, um, oh, it's out there. It's called the High Performance Planner. And I did it yesterday and it just really helped me focus myself and say, what can I do when life gives you lemons? How can I make lemonade? And I decided, okay, I'm still gonna make a video like this because I want to be helpful in a time that's 
uncertain and unknown and I want to be positive too because we all know that everybody's got so much crazy news coming at them. So what are your health goals? Like for me, I want to lose weight. I need to lose weight. We can do so much in our home and work out. Or um, uh, the other thing I want to do is also read more and create content for you guys. If I can create content for you guys that's still helpful and still engaging obviously on my page, because this is what I do full time. I have photos and posts and, I, and from that engagement, I obviously get people that book tours, that book hotels and book resorts. And by me making this video today and discouraging travel and encouraging self-quarantine, um, I'm just hoping that being selfless in this is, is more helpful because I want to be selfish and tell everybody, no, still come to Mexico. But it's just now's not the right time and I feel like the sooner that we reduce this engagement with each other, the more we can reduce the, or the time, I should say. So, um, so yeah, so it could be, anyways, exercise, do you want to read a book? Um, or do you want to read a lot of books, I assume. Um, you can take time to read with your kids or you know, teach your kids how to cook um, or teach your Trisha how to cook because I don't know how to cook. Um, or gardening, you know, all these activities that we can still do even though we're in self-quarantine. You know, they say that, they say, uh, from the WHO I read, is that it's, it's transferred through droplets. So if somebody sneezes, that's the problem, or somebody coughs. So my friend said, my friend gave me an example, and instead of like going back like this, you like dap, like achoo, you dap at the same time. Oh. Um, but here's the thing, if we're precautious, it's better this way. So those are really my points, and if you can think of positive things for yourself to focus on, you know, that's the best thing we can do. That's what I'm trying to do for myself. That's why I'm creating this video, um, and I just want this all to seem hopeful and helpful. Um, and yeah, and then my last thing is, number one, if you agree with this, please share. Um, obviously that helps other people and it helps spread the, the good word, the good news about um, what we can do to prevent it. And two, if you guys have ideas on content that I can create for you guys, I mean, I, I offer tours and resorts and hotels, but like I was even thinking maybe I could do a video on like uh, rentals and sales here because a lot of people, obviously, after this is all calmed down, they're gonna still come down here and visit, but buy or rent properties. So, I don't know, I'm just trying to be creative and reach out to you guys, um, but also if there's any tips that you guys have on how to reduce um, uh, spreading of the coronavirus and any encouraging words, I hope that uh, you find this video helpful, really. I'm a little nervous on what the comments are gonna have. I'm not trying to create fear or panic. That's not the point. The point is, is that let's let's reduce um, the spread. And if we can do our part, um, I think that's the least we can do. So if you like the video, please share it. Stay in touch. Write me a comment of um, helpful tips and any other videos you guys would like to see. See you guys. Bye. Nos vemos pronto en Puerto Morelos. See you guys. Bye.